Hello and welcome to Testing Wiz, a codeless test automation tool for web, mobile, database web services, API testing, big data testing, and cloud applications. Today I will brief you on bug posting using Testing Wiz. There are different bug tracking integrations available, and TFS is one of them. TFS stands for Team Foundation Server. In order to post a bug using TFS in the tool, you need to change some settings by going into the Settings options. From there, go to the Configurations tab and select TFS from the drop-down. Then you can add your information by clicking the Add button and filling in the details, like the alias, URL, email, and password. After filling in all of these details, you can click OK. You can test your connection by clicking on the Test Connection button. This let me know that I connected successfully. After this, you can apply it and then click on OK. In order to demonstrate the bug posting using TFS, I prepared a sample test case of string operation where I have failed the test case intentionally so that I can log a defect and then post it to TFS. When you execute this test case, let's say from Google Chrome, you'll be able to see that the tool has automatically failed. Now, in order to post the defect to TFS, you can click on the Bug Tracker button, and from the Tool Type drop-down, you need to select TFS. Click on Connect. From here, expand the Test Suite tab, and click on String Operation Test Case. You can see that the tool has automatically taken the details like the project name, the title, the team, priorities, severity, assignee, the description, and so on. All of these things can be edited, so you can change things like the title description if you wish to do so. And now check this checkbox to add the attachment and click on Submit. You can see that the ticket ID for that bug has been generated. In my TFS portal, I can see that the bug has been successfully posted with a ticket ID of 517. Checking it, you can see the exact steps and even the attachment. Apart from posting the bugs in TFS, you can also update an existing bug. In order to demonstrate this, I'll use another intentionally failing test so I can log this particular defect and update the already existing bug in TFS. As expected, the test failed. In order to update the existing bug, you need to click on this bug tracker icon again. From there, select TFS and click Connect. To update the existing ID, you need to input the ID in question. For demonstration purposes, let's use ID 517 again. Select the attachment option. Click on Submit and you can see that the data has been updated. In the TFS portal, you can see that it has been updated with the operations, i.e. the math operation, along with the screenshots of it as well as all of the earlier information from the first test that failed. From these two features, the users can also add a link to the existing test case. I have an already prepared test case with an ID of 508 and the test case name is this string operation. From here, I can execute this math operation test case. Once it fails, I'll link it to the existing test case. In order to do so, you need to go to the bug tracker icon and select TFS once again and click connect. From here, you need to give the ID of the test case that you want to link. I'll use 508, add the attachment, and submit. When you check in your TFS portal and when you click on the 508 test case, you can see that the recently posted bug has been linked. Also, when you check the recently posted bug 518, you'll be able to see that there has been a relationship link added with the test case 508. Thank you for watching, and to know more about TestingWiz, visit our website where you can download our free enterprise version or you can request for a quick demo trial. Thank you for watching this video, and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned.